Hey there, I'm Carl Schmid and I'm HIV positive and undetectable. I've had drinks thrown in my face, I'd been slapped, I'd had someone burst into tears in my bed and start crying and say, this isn't fair, why does this always happen to me? I've been told, yeah, that I'm just a horrible person. I've been told I probably deserve it. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry, I'm not really interested. I don't date sluts. So why are we so negative about it? And we have this thing with HIV. So that we automatically think people are promiscuous. We stigmatize people who decide, grown adults who decide to have condomless sex. As recently as this year, I had somebody who we'd been chatting on Tinder uh, for about a couple of weeks. And then we said, yeah, let's get together and we'll go have brunch or something. And I said, look, I just want to be out front. And then by this point, I'd already disclosed uh, publicly. Uh, I said, look, I don't know whether you know or not, I, I'm HIV positive, but I'm undetectable, I'm zero. And he said, that's totally cool. He goes, I'm on prep. Thank you, I really appreciate you telling me that. Um, I would just want to see a copy of your last lab results before we, if we hook up. And I went, what? And he said, yeah, I just, yeah. And I went, ah, okay, well, hey, listen, I gotta go, let text you and put down the phone. And I got the sex, I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Are you, 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 and I said, it's fine, cool, dude. And he goes, and I was, I was angry. And he said, I don't get it. We've just been having a great conversation. What did I say? And I said, well, you asked me to produce my lab results. And he's like, well, yeah, but I don't know you, dude. Like, you could be, I don't know whether you're telling the truth or you could just be saying that. But, you know, and he's like, look, I don't see why you're getting so upset about this. So I replied, I said, that's fine. I said, here's my latest lab results. Hope you feel better. I've had 10 years of somewhere deep in the back of my head, sort of somehow believing that I'm damaged goods. And so I've become very good at not putting myself out there. You know, when I disclosed my status, I had a boyfriend who really was the first real love of my life. And the day I told him, it ended um, and it broke me beyond belief. And I just think that comes back to, again, the lack of education. I think we're finally starting to break down barriers. People go, well, how are you gonna end stigma? We're gonna talk about it. We're just gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about HIV in the good sense and in the bad sense. We're just gonna talk about it. But my HIV status is not a reason to be scared of me anymore. We all have to be responsible for our own sexual health. But instead of asking me whether I'm clean, ask me what my sexual health status is. That's one thing you can do. It's a really simple thing you can do just to help change because I'm not dirty.